During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the difference between what we call drift versus volatility. Ah, this is a big discussion, especially since dicamba tolerant crops have been out. Now there are 2,4-D tolerant crops as well, and those are two products that have some drift and have some volatility potential. So it's, it's a great way to start differentiating between the two. Okay, but hold up for just a second, just so we don't get off topic here. The new 2,4-D, either Freelex or Enlist One, we don't really see much for volatility, and we don't see a whole lot for spray drift old 2,4-D, horrible, just as bad as dicamba is. So big difference, we just wanna make sure if you're planting enlist soybeans, you don't think, oh my goodness, I gotta worry about all this volatility and drift. You have to worry a little bit, but not very much, nothing like what you do with dicamba. Here's where the misunderstanding starts. Most people think that drift means I'm spraying something, it's windy and it blew over where I wasn't intending to have it go. And when we see product that ends up off target and it hasn't been a windy day, it's really confusing for farmers because the thought is, well, it wasn't windy. How did it end up over there? Well, if it's windy and it blows, that's called spray drift. This one is a pretty easy topic. Brian, volatility, a little okay, tougher. Okay, but uh, yep, just so we're crystal clear on this, what we're saying is when the farmer is spraying and you can physically see that spray drift moving, that's what we're talking about as drift. So the product moves off target with the wind immediately. With volatility, what we mean by that is it lands on target and then it vaporizes, moves up in the air, and then it can move somewhere else. That's volatility. And that's what we get most concerned about because just like for us on our farm, we feel, hey, we can control spray drift pretty well. We can use different nozzles. We can use spray drift retardants. We can just flat out spray when it's not windy. We can spray when the wind is blowing away from a sensitive crop. We can do all those things and we can get that product for the most part on target. That's not that big an issue for me. What is a big issue is if a product can pick up and move later on. Well, not every product does that. So let's not get anybody scared here. Most products that are going to be sprayed don't have a big volatility issue. You can spray them, they land on the leaf or they land on the soil and they stay put. About the only ones we worry about are any of the dicamba products or old 2,4-D. Other than that, quite frankly, I can't even think of a product. But if you've got any kind of old dicamba, old 2,4-D, and even some of the newer dicambas, we're worried about all those things. Well, as Brian mentioned, there are a lot of different ways that we can try to manage through that because there are going to be a lot of acres sprayed with the new 2,4-D. There are going to be a lot of acres sprayed with the newer dicamba products and the older dicamba products, and they'll be sprayed successfully. We don't have to have problems, but when you're doing something on a very large scale with lots of different operators and lots of different weather conditions through the summer, you do have to be pretty fussy in order to avoid having problems. So the easiest way for a farmer to avoid spray drift is spray on a calm day. The easiest way for a farmer to avoid volatility is to simply not use a product that has volatility risk like old 2,4-D or dicamba. Avoid those products, problem goes away. Well, fortunately, with our Weed of the Week, there are many different products that can get this under control. We'll talk about them later in the show. <music>